below ground, clouds of choking dust from mummified animals fill the air. Cat mummies, like all animal offerings, were considered sacred and had to be buried properly. But this tomb is a disturbing and chaotic mess. Here, human and animal bones lie jumbled together. Why did the priests fling together these sacred relics? Profit, not religion, may have been the driving factor. Cat mummies were available for purchase. The priests of this temple, they made like a business to sell the small statues, amulets. So they used all these tombs as the storerooms to keep the mummified cats because the priests in this time mummified the cats by millions. The huge enthusiasm for these offerings created a massive logistical problem. The temple was too small to bury them all. So the chiefs of the cat cult reused ancient tombs beneath the temple that were already many hundreds of years old. For the Greeks, animal mummies were a strange and exotic custom, one they bought into with enthusiasm. In the Greek period, animal mummies were so popular. In Greece, usually you would have the tradition of animal offerings, but in ancient Egypt, that was not sort of the main tradition. So when Greeks came here, they really liked them. They were like maybe little mini teddy bears and then people would be going to buy them. Far from dying out, animal worship reached new heights when the Greeks arrived in Egypt. The Greeks became devoted to one animal cult in particular, that of the Apis bull. Priests would mummify and bury an entire bull, believed to be the incarnation of the god. When the bull died, he was embalmed. He was taken across the river, along a great processional, up into the Saqqara necropolis, and he was buried in a vault. So what was the scale of the animal cult business in the Greek era? Hamada has discovered a series of new mummies that are mysteriously different. They don't look like cats. All of these mummies belongs to a cat, but those three ones, I'm not sure about them. Hamada wants to x-ray one of the more unusually shaped cat mummies. The results are a surprise. Inside this one, there's no cat at all. There is no bones inside this. So what we have here is just warabing. So it's a fake one and nothing inside. The fake cat mummy could be a scam. Were the priests cashing in on an unsuspecting tourist? There might be another explanation, based on Egyptian beliefs. In ancient Egypt, there was this strange concept. Once you write something, it's there. So imagine if somebody could not afford a mummy. What are they going to do? They're going to create something that could look like a mummy, much cheaper, much easier, and then offer it. You write on it, and it's a mummy. These strange mummies reveal how Egypt's ancient customs seduce the new Greek arrivals, converting them to the new religion while creating massive demand for sacred artifacts. 